This past weekend was a huge weekend for USF women's volleyball as they hosted both Cal and Stanford, two top nationally ranked teams. Cal being number 10 in the country, Stanford being number one. Against Cal, USF started out fast. They came out with a lot of energy, a lot of hustle, and a lot of heart, and it caught Cal off guard. USF took the first set 25-21 as they outhit Cal 29.7%. 19%. Helena Terrell notched five kills in that set, while Alicia Cox and Aaron Kilroy added four apiece. Despite the momentum, USF could not sustain. USF led 7-6 in the second set, but Cal then went on a 5-0 run and kept the lead throughout the remainder of the set. With the game tied at three in the third set, the Bears went on a 6-1 run to take control. Don soon responded with a 4-0 run of their own to pull within 12-10 but they couldn't cut any further into the lead. The physicality of Cal overwhelmed the Dons, and playing off energy alone just wasn't enough. USF freshman setter slash hitter, Joan Calero, posted her first career triple-double, totaling 30 assists, 14 kills, and 13 digs. USF freshman Whitney Swain also totaled 10 digs, and we caught up with them after the match. We were also able to catch up with Eli to get his thoughts on the match as well. USF. Here we have Joan Clario and Whitney Swain, and they just played Cal in volleyball. And do you want to tell me how you guys feel after that match? We've gotten a lot better throughout the week, so I'm proud of our team. We did really well. It was really exciting winning the first game and stuff, so we were really proud about that. Yeah, and do you know about that first game? You guys are actually the first team this year to um, beat Cal in a set. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's a good accomplishment. <laughs> did you know about that? Yeah. I, I didn't, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think was the turning point in the game where you seemed to have a lot of excitement at the beginning? What kind of happened at halftime? Uh, we did really well the first few games. The serving was tough. We kind of came, like, didn't serve as tough later on, but we did all right. Yeah, and our passing broke down a little bit, but I mean, I think it was just focus, but we did pretty good towards the end. You guys seem to be having a lot of fun out there. Like every time you guys scored, you got super excited. Like how did it feel? It's good. Like you have to be excited after each play in order to like get the momentum and like have everyone do well. And it's just exciting playing like number ten in the nation. So it's good. Yeah, we just get really excited and we just like yell and scream and do whatever. But <laughs> we act like fools when we get points. But it makes it a lot of fun. Yeah. What did they? What did your coach say to you in the locker room at halftime? We were doing well. He was proud of us. He wanted us to keep like serving tough that we were doing well. And we were staying in the game, so it was good. Cool. Just stay focused and stuff. And he was really proud. So that was a big accomplishment. That's good. So what do you think is your strategy? Your strategy is going to be for tomorrow against Stanford. Tough serving again to get him out of the system. But our serving is really important. And just to come like prepared like we did today with all the energy. Yeah, that'll definitely help to come off their game because I don't think they'll be expecting it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Good luck for tomorrow. And yeah, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Hi, so here we have the head coach of women's volleyball, Gilad. And would you like to tell us how you feel about that game? Well, obviously, you know, I uh, got to give Kyle a lot of credit. We, and our, our team a lot of credit. We prepare really well this week. I thought our team came very focused and uh, did a good job in the first game, putting Kyle in a tough situation. Um, and obviously, after that, Kyle came back and made some adjustments, and our, our young team uh, 
battle. I think um, they're a little more physical than us, and our young kids just uh, couldn't sustain the same level of play. But I'm really proud of them and how they played. Hopefully, we take that and keep getting better. And how do you feel about having a young team? Do you see a lot of potential? Well, you know, if you look at game one and how we came out, you can see that we have potential to be really good. You know, now hopefully uh, our young kids don't get discouraged and say, hey, what it takes to maintain that level, to stay competitive throughout a match like that. And uh, if they do that, then we will be really good um, in the next couple of years. The team seems to have a lot of excitement on the court. Every time they score, they get super energized and excited. They seem to be having a lot of fun. Do you encourage that? Obviously, yes. I think when you're young and until you kind of uh, settle in into what you can do, you have to play with a lot of emotion that's can, uh, and energy that's overcome some of the mistakes we do. And uh, it allows to stay focused on the game plan. So, again, that's uh, obviously something we've been working on. It was really good to see that they have been able to do it throughout the match today. And what do you think is your strategy for Stanford tomorrow? Well, we're going to have to play better than what we played today. You know, uh, it's going to be tough. Stanford is really good. They're also very physical. Um, but if our players learn today that if they come up with the right mind frame and they compete hard, good things can happen. Um, you know, and I'm excited to see what we have uh, in the back for tomorrow match. Okay, well, thank you very much and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. In USF's other matchup against Stanford, USF fell in straight sets by scores of 25-12, 25-17, and 25-20. Stanford started out the game on a 16-3 surge, which USF was never able to recover from. The Dons regrouped for the second set, fighting their way to a 14-13 lead. However, Stanford broke open the set with a 7 0 -0. USF came out the break hitting better in the third set, with neither team gaining much ground on the other until Stanford took a 14-10 lead. The Dons closed the gap to 22-20, with the Cardinals scored three consecutive points to win the set and match. Stanford outhit USF 33.7% to 8.5%, and finished with 11 blocks to the Dons' mere three.